Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. CC here. Chris from New York. A couple of things I, I wanted to mention uh, to you today. Jesus, this guy's going unbelievable. Um, anyway, a couple of things I wanted to mention to you uh, this morning. It's uh, September 19th, 2017, and it is a Tuesday. Um, I'm usually, I'm, I'm not really a very political person because politicians, as far as I'm concerned, are, are just puppets. Um, and uh, they really serve no purpose to me at all whatsoever. None of them ever do anything that they say. Uh, and they're just a total waste of time to even acknowledge their existence, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but, you know, we did get a president in the uh, office, and, and I, I'm, I'm glad that he became president. I'm not saying that I voted for him or that I even voted. Um, so I'll leave my political views there. But since he's been in the presidency, we've all seen what has been going on. And all the scumbags have come out, especially in Hollywood. Now, I didn't watch that orgy that they had on Monday. I never do, but I, I've heard about it, and I just heard it was just three hours of, of bashing uh, Trump. And, and you know what? That's great. You know, this is the reason why I don't watch movies. You know, all these people that you grew up with, all these famous actors, you know, have climbed out of the woodwork and showed their true, true colors. So I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad now we can see the true colors of these idiots. You know, Stand by. All right, sorry about that. Duty calls. Anyway, um, what is I was mentioning about the uh, yeah about Hollywood? You know, so there you go. Now you know who all the true colors are, and uh, of all the actors that that you grew up with that you used to watch. Um, so screw them all, as far as I'm concerned, because ninety percent of them are are just blithering idiots. You know, and I don't even want to go run down the list of names of, of movies I'm not going to watch anymore. And it's a, it's a shame because I liked a lot of these movies. I grew up with them. Uh, so it's almost like we, we've been left with one choice now with, with Hollywood and watching movies. Dead actors. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the only people we can watch now. That's all I'm watching. So I'll, make a, I'll compose a list of all the dead actors that, that you can watch movies with now because we don't know their political views. None of them have ever said anything about their political views. They've only come out when uh, our new president is in office, and that would be Trump. So, you know, even more of a reason not to watch TV. It's, it's nothing but cancer anyway. That's all it is. It's cancer for your kids and cancer for yourself. My daughter has a 103 temperature. Um, she's getting better. But um, I had some free time on Sunday, and best of my better judgment, I, I went out. And <laughs> I, I believe, you know, flat earthers should only be accompanied by either a spouse or an adult, you know? I, I mean, really. Because being in public areas and not being able to talk about this you know, is, is really difficult for all of us, you know, and, and, and I have even said, keep your mouth shut, you know, it's one of my first videos and it's very difficult to do. The first place I went to, I got clam chowder and a beer. That first place I went to, I used to go to a lot. I didn't even realize why I was there until after I left, but I used to conduct business there at this restaurant and I used to bring old girlfriends there, and I might have broken up with one or two of them there. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of a good halfway point between the middle of, of Westchester County. That's why I, I use that restaurant. The food wasn't too bad. I was docile at this restaurant. I ended up paying my check and, and leaving. Um, but it finally occurred to me when I left... And I, I mentioned this to you in one of my videos, um, how you're saying goodbye to your other self, you know, your old self. And I didn't even realize I went there subconsciously to, to say goodbye, to break, basically break up with myself. You know, I, I left my old self behind at that restaurant. Um, even though I've been into this flat earth now for almost a year now, close to it, roll up to my anniversary. Uh, in October 
I just said goodbye to myself. That was it. Now, the second place I went to was a disaster. At this point, I had a couple of beers in me. <laughs> and that doesn't mix when you're alone solo. And all you have are people who are just sleeping, you know. And the conversations. I, I had a quick appetizer and I left. I was there for maybe about 30 minutes and that's about all I could take. 30 minutes was about it for me. Maybe 45 minutes listening to the ridiculous conversations about football, Hollywood, what shoes you're going to buy next week, and, and what jacket's on sale. So what did I do? I brought up chemtrails. And then that led to geoengineering. And then that led to people looking at me like I had three heads. So I won't be attending, I won't be patroning that, that restaurant anytime soon. However, I did tell them to research Flat Earth. I told the bartender this. You should see the look on his face. He's like, oh, uh, uh, re, re, what? Flat, flat Earth? Shouldn't be thinking about that, man. So, anyway, um, I told him I'd be back in two weeks. And I will go back there in two weeks. I'll be, either be greeted with open arms or a bunch of people will be laughing at me. So, I don't care either way. I, I really don't. You know, I'm getting tired of trying to wake people up, but I don't care. I don't, I don't care if it pisses me off anymore. I really don't. I'm going to continue doing it. You know, I really am. I have to. You know, I have to. And the, I, I understand there are some people that are just so far gone. There's just no way of ever convincing them um, about anything. You know, so, and that's fine. That's fine. I then I'm not going to bother with them. I'm going to concentrate on people that at least have an open mind in some way. And I can find those people. I know I'll be able to find them. So I'm not, I'm not stopping anytime soon. That's it. That's all. One other thing I did want to mention is I really would like to have this uh, meet and greet and maybe turn it into something that would be a, a monthly thing if uh, people in New York would be up for it. I don't care where you're from. You know, it doesn't make a difference to me. I just figure it would be demographically easier for me to do something around here, you know, and if you live around the area, you know, 15, 20 minutes away, why don't you show up, you know? Somebody from New York contacted me um, and, uh, you know, mentioned he'd be interested in it, and I'm waiting for other people to contact me, you know, so there are people in New York. I know you're out there. I know you're here, you know? Let's set up a meet and greet. Let's just get something small going, you know, and we'll go from there. I checked the Marriott. There's a place, a uh, big hotel chain. There's a few of them, actually. It's right where they're doing work on the Tappancy Bridge. And um, there's a couple hotels over there. And I, I checked their room rates. You know, they have eight to ten people rooms, and they, and they go all the way up, you know. And they, I mean, they're not cheap. You know, but I mean, if something 